Okay, welcome back. Uh, as we left off, we are just Spend finishing off a, a few e missions here and there. Um, One moment, please. Like I said, these Citadel missions, we've got no idea where the, where the missions now are. You know, they don't tell you where the people are that you need to talk to. They don't tell you where the items are that you need. You just gotta kind of wander around and, and hope you get lucky, pretty much. Thank you again, Earth Clan. Yeah, we gotta talk to you. But yeah, it's like you roughly know know where to go, but kind of you don't. So you will excuse me if I run around like a bit of bit like a headless chicken looking for the people to hand in uh, but we did get a lot of new missions just by walking around and stuff perhaps you could send the girl to your side of the family are you kidding my family disowned me when i married neota want to guess why oh my they'd be happier to see those cerberus assholes than they would be to see me i understand why you would not wish to send your daughter to them yeah well your understanding doesn't help me or my daughter much right now. I can't go in there. And the Spectre. There was uh, someone we're supposed to talk to on the diplomatic level, but it uh, doesn't look like it's going to work. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's check the uh, Spectre terminal again, just to see if there's any, uh, just see if there's any chain on what's going on. Because I really have, have no clue what to. Okay, that's the stuff. Of course. Let's see what's on the computer. Yeah, the codes have been enabled. It's possible to bypass and uh, track top level dispatches. Location of the consoles. Accessed will be uploaded to the Spectre's Omni tool and highlighted for easy detection. So I presume that means it's on the map. I don't know. It's weird. I really don't see anything on the map. So, like for example, if we if we go, um, like they should be highlighted on this, right? You would think. But as you can see, nothing is highlighted. So, I presume it just lights up when we go near it. I have no clue. I really have no clue when it comes to these guys. So, kind of flying in the dark. And let's talk to this guy, see if he's got any help for us. Hey, Shepard. I have to admit, the place feels safer with you here. Everyone's walking around in a daze. Or in my case, limping. And I wonder if we'll ever be the same. These are dark days for all of us. <laughs> Good you luck got with your that. Work cut out for you. You and me both, Shepard. Yeah, this guy's not gonna help us much. Hey, so I, I think, I think it's gonna be on the. It's gonna be like tucked away somewhere. Probably not on this level. It doesn't seem to be much on this level at all. Um. So we know this level's pretty much a dead loss. Let's try the hospital. I, I doubt we'll find much there, but we're going to have a quick look at the hospital. And then we're going to have a look at the docks, maybe, maybe at the, the club. And if we can't find anything there, we'll just head off and do a mission in space, because that's more interesting. Oh, journal updated. The Rings of Loon. So we've got another mission, maybe. Just checking around, see if there's anyone we could talk to. Anyone got any new missions? I think we just got one new one there. Okay, lots of people naturally upset. And the hospital. Ah, there's a console in there. Aha. Uh -huh. Great stuff. Noel, this is Shepard. I found one of the code locations. Okay, I'll shut it down. Just need to authorize your Spectre status. Someone
someone use this to cut off power to a dozen life support machines in the hospital. Okay, that access code is officially disabled. Can you find any more? Okay, we found one. So you see what I mean? You just like wander around and <clears throat> you do find what you're looking for eventually, but it's a it's busy work, you know? It's one of those busy work missions that kinda takes a while. And there's nothing you can do about it unless you, I don't know, look up a guide or something. I don't like using guides. Mm. Look at the charts. Hmm. So, another, yet yeah, another mission, so that's good. I think there's nothing in here. Ah, hello. Can I help you? I'm looking for a drell named Thane Krios. Well, we have a drell. But not under that name. He was injured, stab wound. He's a regular patient here. It's all right. It's all right. I see. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mister hmm. Krios is in the final stages of Keppel syndrome. At its worst, Keppel syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen, and he lost a lot. Now they've given him transfusions, but frankly. There was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. Is he still alive or not? Mr. Creo slips in and out of consciousness, and the outlook isn't good. It's hard to tell how much time he has. When he's awake, he's pretty lucid, never forgets anything. I think that helps. His son, Koliat, he's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. I'm Koliat Krios. I came by to pay my respects. Does he have much time? No. His wound is... extreme. Here. He'll want to see you. Commander. I'm afraid I won't be joining you again. Never known you to be afraid, Thane. Not a great time to start. <laughs> there are things I fear. Just not mortal ones. There is something I must do before it gets worse. I must... of inscrutable depths. I ask forgiveness. Kalihira, whose waves wear down stone and sand. <coughs> Kalihira, wash the sins from this one and set him on the distant shore of the infinite spirit. <coughs> Koyad, you speak as the priests do. You have been spending time with them. I brought a prayer book. Commander, would you care to join me? Kalahira, this one's heart is pure, but beset by wickedness and contention. Guide this one to where the traveler never tires, the lover never leaves, the hungry never starve. Guide this one, Kalahira. And he will be a companion to you as he was to me. Call yet? 
There's something I don't understand. His last moments were those of a hero. Why pray for salvation? The prayer was not for him, Commander. He has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken. His wish was for you. Goodbye, Thane. You won't be alone long. Okay, so everybody's dying. It seems it's another one of our companions lost. But it won't help when we run out of supplies. I've seen this happen in combat before, and we will run out of supplies. Have you seen the projections the administration center made? I have. The situation is going to get worse. What's your point? We can't deny the facts. If we prioritize them, some of our patients are in a much better position to survive. If we take care of them first and ration our supplies, we can save some now and enable ourselves to save more later. We cannot do that. We swore an oath. Everyone makes sacrifices in wartime. You'll make yours sooner or later. I'm sure I will. But I'll do it without betraying my oath or my patience. It's not that simple. If we aren't careful about this now, we'll end up losing everyone. Then we'll find a way. Look, we have more fortune. Right, I think that's everything done in the hospital, if I'm not much mistaken. Yep, I think we're done. For donations, to get more supplies for those without credits. What? Are you saying what I think you're saying? That's... You know, that, that actually might work. Right, let's get out of here. This place is a bit uh, <coughs> depressing. Oh, why is that console activated yet again? Oh, it hasn't activated again. Never mind. So, that was one of them. Where's the next one? We can only guess. Is this going to be another one of those, those episodes where all my time gets taken up in the Citadel? I hope not. But if it does, it does, you know, at least I'll be, uh, cutting down the length so I can do these more. Let's see now. Uh, let's try the bar. We haven't been to the bar in a while. Let's check it out. Now arriving at ward level purgatory. Grim, you do not understand. How's the head? Good. Concussion's almost gone. Good. When I heard you were injured. It was stupid. I should have died from that wall came down. Something good has come out of all this. Just seeing there's any terminals in here that might be in use. Ah. Look who it is. This sucks. <laughs> what have you got there? Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They're dropping us into hot spots for hit and runs. I'm making sure your bosses don't get my kids killed. How are they holding up? They are fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. I know it's not fun, but you're doing good work. And it sounds like your students are helping. Damn right they're helping. Hell, we even saw some action on Palavin. They broke a line of those Batarian things. I think Prangley punted one into orbit. <laughs> even Rodriguez kept her shit together. Glad to hear it. Also helped the Turians get a few thousand civilians out safely. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. Cause I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. Come on. What? The duty rosters can wait. Right now, you're on shore leave. <laughs> Shepard, everybody knows you can't dance.
Directly again. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm curious. What material is your face made from? The surface is a flexible biomimetic nanomaterial over a metallic skull. The skin uses sheer thickening technology to help protect the central processing unit in the head. If the skin is struck or shot, it solidifies to absorb the impact. It also is capable of limited self healing. And what about the hair? It is of similar construction. For defense, I have set it to cohere into a solid piece. However, for infiltration purposes, it can be parted into individual strands. If it has recently been exposed to water, I generally can't do a thing with it. <laughs> well, we're here. <laughs> if I'm not needed to answer an inquiry, I would like some time alone. So, well, what are you doing in the bar, Edie? Well, the problem is that our people are terrible at making more. Well, it was nice to see Jack for a wee while, but I uh, would have liked to have seen her for a bit longer. Ah. Look who's here. The Blue Suns, Blood Pack, and Eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Is there anything on your mind? What exactly have I acquired? An army that's willing to fight dirty, to do the things your respectable militaries won't do. Eclipse Max and Vorcha Legions are excellent candidates for vanguards in any ground offensive. Well worth the little song and dance I had you perform, I'm sure. Whatever you say, Arya. Don't be a stranger. Alright, so we've got uh, a bunch of mercenaries on our side, that's always good. I think we're done here. Oh, hang on. Look at this! All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. How is this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the <laughs> arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? Sure, that's a good idea. Edie's not Alliance personnel. There's no regulation against dating a ship's AI. I looked it up. Jeff, you have brittle bones. She's made of metal. Well, yeah, but. I... Yeah, you're right. That's stupid. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know what to recommend because, you know, it's like none of my business, for real. <laughs> If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you've got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah, if Joker's happy with Edie, then... <laughs> Good luck to the man. Right, we're done here guys, um, I think that's sort of everything in There's a nice bit of story there. No, uh, no new consoles though. Uh, I really wanted to get it out, in st out into space, but as you saw we got extra missions. So I'm going to have to complete those before we go out. Simply because um, if you move forward in the plot line, uh, chances are you won't be able to do them later, so this has to be done, I'm afraid. Otherwise I won't get resources, and if I don't get resources, we won't win. Uh, or we'll get the crappy ending. I think we'll get the crappy ending anyway, but maybe a slightly worse ending. 
if I don't do all this, so bear with me guys, I will blast off back into space very soon. Thank you, Earth Clan. My people are still afraid, but they are remembering who they are. That's good. I wish I would just like have that dialogue like once and then maybe disappear. Because otherwise I'm thinking, oh, this is where I hand in the quest. Yeah, definitely need some clear hand in points. Just looking around for terminals now. longer we'd have gotten the obelisk of Karza. I know the Hades Nexus is off limits. I'm not an idiot. Damn it, the Alliance needs that thing right now. The obelisk of Karza was supposed to contain Prothean language translations, like the Rosetta Stone. Mm, you see, so if we'd have gone out there, we wouldn't have got that mission. So you see how it works. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta do your running around. Ah, and here's the CSEC officer. These are control schematics for Cerberus turrets. Will these help? Damn right they will. I'll have E-Crimes dig into them. Might even help us find the little present Cerberus left for us. Thanks a lot. This is gonna save lives. You're welcome, old. And CSEC forces have killed the last invading forces. I wonder what's up here. No, the Krogan are the only race that can fight on the toxic. Not a lot, is the answer. They're good in mountains and use toxins, ferociously loyal to their riders. Yes, they'd be ideal. Unfortunately, they were driven to extinction during the Rachni War. So, unless we can engineer something new, Krogan on Toxic Worlds will have to fight on foot without support. Look at all this stuff. Doctor on the Citadel is looking for a poison. Find a toxin, deliver it. Yeah. So, as you can see, loads and loads of missions can be found around just by wandering around looking for them. Okay, that seems to be everything. Um, we'll just check the last wee bit and, and we are done. That's the Citadel pretty much cleared, I think. Grissom Academy. to me there. Is the Ara want to talk to us? Hello, Shepard. Hello. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. I missed this place. I missed this place too. It's good to be off ship for a while. Yes. Other exciting dialogue options. <laughs> you can buy some stuff. I don't really want to buy anything though. I, I will try to remember to go down down to the arms room or something to upgrade my weapon. I'll try to remember to do that. Okay. I think we are pretty much done. I keep saying that, but this time I mean it. Uh, we'll just go to the dock now. It's interesting we haven't found the last console, though. I was expecting to find one on this level, but there wasn't. I 
probably on the docking bay then. Spectre status recognized. Please select a One moment, please. Now arriving at docking bay E24. It's got to be on this level somewhere. Housing. Here, nothing new. Nope, oh, looks like everything's the same. Do, 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 do. Nope, nobody using that terminal. See, I'm looking for the last terminal. Hey, I've assumed full control of Eclipse, and we're committed to moving forward with Ari. Those are my credits. No, like I say, we're not gonna find it, guys. I don't know where that last terminal is. Yeah, I know, it's terrible. About time. I know, I know. You thought I was. You don't have to say anything. <laughs> but I'm about to make my comeback. Yeah, right. He's about to lose all his money. Son of a bitch. Okay, I think we're done here. Back to the ship. Spectre status recognized. Please one select. moment, please. Now arriving at docking bay D twenty four. to run FTL spaceships without an ESO core, Private Talavi? No, ma'am. Then consider this a serious assignment. Intel's expecting a Cerberus raid. Cerberus? Ah, there's the console. Knowles, I found another spot where the Batarian codes were used. Holy crap. These are the remote navigation codes. Last week's crash at the docks, we thought it was an accident. Shepard, there were 117 Alliance soldiers on that ship. All human. Just like the patients at the hospital. So we've got Batarian codes, and someone with a grudge against humans. Looks like... okay. This code's offline now as well. Should just be one left, Commander. Ah, oh, really? So there's one code left, and it could be anywhere on the station. Oh. Well... I will come back and get it, uh, but right now I wanna go. Oh, new dialogue option. Shepard, I don't know what to say. I'm trying to go over everything in my head, make sense of it. That could have ended very badly. Very badly. Glad we're both still standing. We stopped Adina and got to walk away. That's the important part. I can't believe he was responsible for all of it. Was he indoctrinated? It's hard to say. How do we fight something that can worm its way into your head? I don't know. But we don't have a choice. I wanted to talk to you about that. Hackett asked me to join his team. It's a great offer, but... I'd prefer to ride this thing out aboard the Normandy. Permission granted, Lieutenant. Just keep your gun pointed at the Reapers, okay? I'd prefer it, thanks. 
Grab your gear and find a bunk, Williams. Aye, aye, Captain. And Ash? Yeah? It's good to have you back. Yes, sir. All right, we got Ash back. Fantastic. Shepard, I got Anderson patched in. I was just getting him up to speed. Odina? That SOB was always power-hungry. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Valorn. Kyline. What? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. I don't care who he is. Next time we meet, he dies. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Mm. Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly? Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy? And in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. We think the catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. Cerberus, Reapers, they'll all pay for this war. One way or another. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. Anderson out. Commander, the Tyrian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And the Quarians are willing to talk. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. Shepard, do you have a moment? A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. Okay, so we've got some important missions to do, and I have a feeling we're going to be meeting Tally before long. So that's going to be good because um, Tally, of course, was the one that uh, in the other two games uh, was Shepard's romantic uh, interest. Uh, so <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see how that pans out, guys. I'm um, going to leave it off here guys and I uh, hope you enjoyed it, sorry it was mostly on the Citadel but it's all necessary for the uh, for the story and also for the resources for the battle but that's pretty much the uh, Citadel done for now and next we'll be going to, uh, to uh, do a rescue mission I think so that should be quite fun, see you then.